Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on the Help Desk After Hours. Today we're going to go over how to bypass the Windows OOBE screen, which stands for the Windows Out of Box Experience screen. This screen is the screen you get whenever you first set up your computer. However, it asks you to connect to the internet. Some people don't have internet or don't want to, or maybe you work in IT and you're setting up computers and you're not doing domain join. You can use this on Windows 11 Pro and Windows 11 Home to bypass the you must connect to the internet screen. Also, if you get to the add a Microsoft account screen, you can use this to bypass it as well. It's a few quick, short, and easy commands. You just type in there and you'll create a user and then reboot it. And that's it. You're able to log in and you can do whatever you want from there. So today with me, I have my fiance, Renata. Hi. She's going to drive. She knows nothing about computers. So I thought it'd be best no. if I walked her through it, explain the commands while we're running, why we are running it and just kind of let her steer. That way you can see how easy it is to do. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and give her the wheel and she's going to drive us. Hopefully not off the road. Yeah. Here we go. All right, so you want to get to the connect to internet screen. So we're just going to go ahead and follow the prompts here and continue. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit yes and skip. Nobody ever adds a layout, but you can. I, don't, I have actually never added a layout, not on the OOBE screen. So once you get here, you have to connect or do you? So what we're going to do is we're going to press shift and F10 at the same time on your keyboard. Now this should open a command prompt. Now if it doesn't open a command prompt for you, you'll want to press the FN key, shift and F10. So all three keys at once. And once you get to this command prompt, the first command we're going to type in is net.exe and space user space and the username. In our case, we're going to go ahead and do test and then space password. In our case, we're going to use test as a password as well. Now, if you're setting this up for you, you'll do your username and then whatever password you want. Um, in our case, we're going to use a uh, user as test and the password as test. So test again. Yep space forward slash add and hit enter now we're going to do net.exe again space local group one word space administrators space the username we just created so test space forward slash add and hit enter. enter all right so the first command what it did is it created a user named test um, it added it added it to the computer the second command net.exe local group added that user to the administrators group uh, you'll want to do this if it's your computer you're setting up um, or you're making a local admin account maybe you work in IT and you're setting up computers all day I like this method. I think it's quick and easy. So okay. we'll go on to one of the last couple of commands here, and it's going to be change directories. So CD space OOBE, enter. And this changes the directory into the OOBE folder. So from here, we're going to type in msoobe.exe space and sign and sign. space shutdown.exe space forward slash r and what this command does is it runs the msoobe.exe and then the and signs tells it to run the shutdown.exe forward slash r after that command completes so it runs the msoobe and then it reboots so we're going to go ahead and hit enter Computer's going to reboot. We'll give it some time to come back up. The net.exe is just uh, a command you can use to manage and create users um, and groups. So it's very nice. 
to use in situations like these, um, or if you can only get a command prompt on a computer and you need to add a user to it, you can use a net.exe command. Okay, so you'll get this screen, that is okay, just go ahead and hit okay. And then from here, we're gonna select our user in the bottom left, which is test. And we're gonna enter the password you created, which is test. And we're still offline, as you can see in the bottom right. We're going to go ahead and log in, and that's it. That's how you skip the out-of-box experience screen. A few quick and easy commands, and you're getting logged in. I hope this helps someone out there like it did me. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. I did it. I promise you can. Shout out to my fiance <laughs> for helping us out today.